Hi! With this video, I would like to share some tricks I use with my Taranis to pilot a voltage total glider, the Troll from François Caour. I will not talk about mechanical setup in the glider. It's true, they are also very important for mad stab and ring runs on such heavy gliders, but I will just show my way of piloting my mad stab and my ring runs plus ailerons to share ideas about voltage total style of flying. I do not use a tray for piloting, then I pilot with dumps. Let's talk about the mad stab, which is essential to perform flips and also helps a lot for flat spins. The weight of this glider, the troll, is something like 1.5 kilograms, and I feel like it's better to use dual weight on the mad stab of such a glider. This means a switch button for normal or mad deflection. I choose to activate this on the momentary switch of my Taranis. Why? First, because it is easy to reach even with thumbs on sticks. Then, during the flight, I can switch whenever I want. Second, because being momentary, I cannot forget it in mad deflection. It is mad only if I push on it. I use two custom curves for those deflections. The big advantage of custom curves is that you make what you want. So my two curves have the same slope around neutral. This implies that when I switch, even with a little bit of action on elevator, the position remains the same and there is no jolt in the trajectory. I also activated the sound when the stick gets closer to mad deflection. For example, when you make a half loop before a flip, this prevents too much elevator action during the loop. Last thing about the mad stab, I've programmed the elevator trim in a way that it has no effect on maximum deflection positions. This is useful because I am used to change trim positions depending on conditions of flying, but I want to keep the same mad stab deflection, this means 2 times 90 degrees. Let's talk now about ring runs. The twirl, this glider, has ailerons and ring runs, because for flat spins, ring runs help enormously to make the ring become a real propeller. On more little gliders, like the Ahi, you may perform flat spins without ring runs. But for little wall weight, ailerons alone are better, less drag than ring runs. On François Carreau's advice, I have around neutral only ailerons moving. Then, when the stick has more than 50% of action, ring runs start together with ailerons that continue to increase. This is done using a custom curve which is at zero between minus 50% and plus 50%. This curve is assigned to ring around servo. But for flat spin, it is better to have ring arounds without aileron at all. So I have a switch for flat spin setup. No aileron, full mat stab, full rudder, and ring arounds active over the entire stick deflection, even under 50% of stick movement. Because I took a liking in using a momentary switch for the mad stab dual weight, I decided to customize my Taranis. I changed the two position switch by another momentary switch. So this flat spin setup is easy to activate without jolt on elevator deflection. And I cannot forget it because it cannot be active without the action of the pilot pushing this new momentary switch. 
Here we are with what I wanted to share. Have fun with Slop Aerobatics.